Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and today I'm going to show you the HDR Merge Pack for Luminar Neo. Now we'll begin with some image stacks. Now in this particular image I have five separate raw files and what I'm going to do is highlight them. You can do this by holding shift and using your arrow keys, alternatively holding down control and clicking on each of the images. And once you've done that, simply click on your selection and drag them over here to this HDR merge option. And you can see here, my five stack has now been populated. We've also got a few options. So if we click onto this gear icon here, we've got a setting for auto alignment and ghost reduction. So auto alignment is in those cases whereby your images aren't precisely accurate. In other words, you've shot handheld. So when these frames are stacked upon each other, while they might look close to you and me now, uh, they will actually not align and you'll get sort of ghosting around the edges. Auto alignment works very, very well in Luminar Neo HDR. So we're going to use that. And if you do tend to use a tripod for HDR, leave that switched off and you'll get the best possible results. Ghost reduction, this is not applicable for this image. And what that does is that say if we have a scene that's largely static, but perhaps we've got a moving subject passing through each one of the frames, therefore in a different place on each of the image, merging these five images would basically end up with a ghost of that subject sort of blurred, sort of streaking its way through the image. Now what ghost reduction does is if we turn it on, we tell it what the reference image is and what Luminar Neo HDR will attempt to do is basically merge the images while keeping the moving subject true to your reference frame. So by default, the reference frame is your middle exposure, which is the most balanced, but you can change it to whatever you want. And you can also change the aggressiveness of the process. But for now, I'm going to turn this off. So we have our auto alignment on. We have our stack of five raw images. We're going to click on merge. Now this process does take a little while depending on the size of each of your images and the number of images in your stack. In this particular case, I'm dealing with five full frame Nikon D750 raw files, each between sort of 25 and 30 megabytes. So this is gonna take a little while. Now, if you're wondering how this compares to Aurora HDR, it's much more simple and it really just works and anybody can use it. So if you're looking for the fastest route to an HDR image, I'd very much recommend you try Luminar Neo's HDR Merge Pack. However, Aurora HDR is far more comprehensive, uh, giving you far much more control over the process and manual adjustments, and thus giving you far more creative freedom. Anyway, here's our HDR image. And that looks pretty good. If we zoom in, we can see that the alignment is really good. We've got a, a tiny little bit of fringing here, but that could well be just the lens. But otherwise, detail is excellent. One more, pan in. All right, doesn't seem to be zoomed. Ah, oh, there we go. That's had a bit of a wobble there. There we go. So overall, I'm very happy with that. And if we go back to the original images, just as a reminder, so that's our sort of dark exposure, sort of middle balanced exposure, overblown and slightly less overblown. And once again, that's the end result. Now you might've noticed one of the things we can't do, we can't sort of adjust the aggressiveness of the HDI merge process. By default, Luminar New York appears to sort of lean towards a natural result. And it, indeed it looks very good. So if you're looking for that sort of traditional, aggressive, overworldly CGI style HDR effect, there's other applications out there you might prefer. Uh, for instance, Affinity Photo is very good. And uh, I loved Aurora HDR. You might have trouble getting that. It's been discontinued, but if you've got it, use it. 
And on one's photo raw comes with a very nice HDR module as well. So the other thing we can do with HDR is it doesn't just have to be about photo stacks. We can actually run it against a single photo. So the process is the same. So we've got this photo here. It's another raw file. It's extreme contrasty situation with overblown water and dark shadows. And I'm going to merge it into an HDR image. Obviously no alignment required and no ghost reduction. Thus is the blessing with a static image. So the reason you'd use HDR on a single image is as an alternative to manually sort of pushing the shadows and highlights, pulling the highlights, I should say. And as you can see, it's quite a lot quicker and you end up with a sort of unique aesthetic. Uh, this one sort of looks a little bit oil painting like, but I kind of dig it. I like it. And, um, one thing I would prefer about Aurora HDR is that I would have far more freedom how this looked. If I wanted to go more natural, I could. If I wanted to really lean into the HDR effect, I could. But with this, nice, simple, quick, totally not complex, but less creative freedom. Now, if you've already got Luminar Neo, all you have to do to get the HDR merge pack is to click on this little puzzle icon and what that will do is it'll prevent, present us with all the various extensions available to Luminar Neo, including the HDR merge pack. Nothing else at the moment, so stay tuned. As you can see, I can't show you anything more because I've already installed it. And if you'd like to try Luminar Neo for free, there's a link in the description below, so you can. And it's a seven day free trial, no credit card required. And uh, there's a 15% discount code. So please don't pay full price. Use my link, use my promo code and save a little bit of money. But anyway, I hope that was useful. Usual housekeeping guys. If you like this, please subscribe, leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. With that out of the way, uh, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.